So we're coming back here. Goody, goody. It's just gonna be a quick stop. You said that last time. I swear it's gonna be a quick stop this time. Alright, if you go inside, First. get me um, a Snickers and a Powerade. Okay, uh, do you want any hoagies or anything? No, not just the Snickers and the Powerade. Are you, are you sure you don't want anything else to eat? Because I'm let good. Me tell you, this is the last stop for three hours. I got I'm a bag going. of trail mix. I'm good. Okay. Alright. And this is. I think this is the one that I said was the one that was kind of legitimately hard. It might be a different one later. I don't really remember. Looks more like it's legitimately annoying. Yeah. Good job. Whoops. You're stuck in a loop, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice save, <laughs> dumbass. Hey, uh, just be glad that I don't have to do it with six axes like they intended me to do it with. Are you still not cutting them out? Because I said I will make you suffer. It's not so much suffer as mild boredom. <laughs> but yep, that for a gold bolt. And then... There's another gold bolt, uh, here. You have to use the geolaser for. And then, and why, uh, can't we just use that on, like, everything? And then there's another gold bolt somewhere that's on a bridge. I don't think I ever show it, but I got it. Seriously, so. why can't we use the high-powered laser on just, and we're like, back at the arena. random enemies? Our noble gladiator in the thick of battle, in Second verse, same as the first. Uh, you have five minutes to go through five rounds of these dudes, and the only thing that makes it different is the fact that you have to avoid spinning blades and flamethrowers. Just like Robot Wars, except no one's robots. No, those guys are robots. Eh, that's help you sleep at night, sure. That's what the veterans tell themselves. They were just robots. They weren't real people, they were just robots. Two years later, Ratchet puts a gun in his mouth. <laughs> well, he has like... 8 million of them flying around. He just stuffs his face with them like a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most adorable suicide ever. <laughs> Clink comes home, sees his friend like that, and he just... A little bit. He can fly because he's he's not really a robot. Everybody just looks like robots to Ratchet. And then there's a different boss. You've got this guy. He looks like he would be refreshing. Uh, he's, <laughs> when he spins around like that, he's invincible. Uh, if he hits you, he does a little victory flex. He shoots those little sparky things that put off the other sparky things. I too become invincible when I spin. <laughs> um, I think those are all his moves. Oh wait, no, no, then he does this. This is a thing that he can do. I noticed. <clears throat> Would have been surprised if he said it was a thing he couldn't do and it just came out of nowhere. Well, that might also be true. Like, you have the one copy of the entire of the game in the entire world that he can do this in. This... This fight is a little harder than Crush Doe, but not that much. Hollow Pirate Disguise is what we won. And I have no idea what Promoted to Inspector is. And then more cut one oh, a sandwich! It's in the and box. The little guy, a copy it's of a happy meal. And the ligaments of a runner-up. <laughs> oh, if you noticed that I <laughs> bought new armor. Here, I found this in Tachyon's underwear drawer. I, I thought it was... I, I thought it might be... <laughs> Oh, remember 
these those dudes from the first game? Nope. Oh. It's time for okay, another then. installment of the Polaris Compendium of Historical Importantness. I'm in a staring contest. In this chapter, we will explore the <laughs> I win. Congratulations, you won. Iris, the largest supercomputer in Polaris history, this mysterious behemoth is said to have an IQ of We built it to answer one question. What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? 42. Built by an unknown race and we're now building ago, another computer. Iris once served as the it's going to be planet-sized, and it's going to now calculate the ultimate question. Within pirate territory, sealed off from the public, its only master, the duplicitous Captain Slag. That book was good. This has been another depressing yep. installment of the Polaris Compendium of Historical Instruments. We still need to finish the, uh... I won that staring contest, too! I won both of them. I'm the steering contest champion. Bow before me. Let's go. I'm gonna fight you in a steering contest now. Go. This isn't working. Maybe you can be a superhero. You will never stop being the second best character in this entire series. You're right. This is not the time for vanity. It's the time to show the universe how amazingly awesome I am! <laughs> I'm sorry, Ratchet. I hope you never have to endure the pressure of saving an entire galaxy. Wish me luck! And that's where the video ends.